Hello everyone! It's two seconds after I've just filmed my reaction to episode 9 of series 8 of The Next Step. I'm going to watch episode 10 right now and I'm really excited to see how everyone's going to react to Heathcliff. How everyone's going to react to Heathcliff being the mole. I don't know if they'll expose... Are they exposing him? What's the episode description? Shad surprises Rochelle and they share a beautiful moment. But just as they're starting to connect, he takes one of many mysterious phone calls. Oh, who could he be phoning? I don't actually know. Um, Heath decides it's up to him to mend Ozzy and Kingston's relationship. Why is he doing that? That was very Tiara bling of me then. But like, why are you getting involved with that drama? Because Ozzy doesn't like Kingston because of his betrayal, right? And he kind of thinks he's the mole. He's a suspect at least. Why is he even injecting himself into that drama? Like, stay away from it. You don't want to be suspected. Stay away. Um, but what he thought would be a harmless night of friends turns into a shocking and revealing hunt for the mole. Oh, drama. I'm filming everything to make a behind the scenes documentary about the making of our show. I like how Lily's filming, like she said in the off season, something about um, cinematography being a sudden interest of hers, so I like that. Dude, your timing is totally off. I wouldn't have messed up if you weren't in the wrong spot. Move, Ozzy. After everything that happened with Tiara Bling, I feel kind of guilty. He's kind of guilty. Not, not completely guilty. He just feels kind of guilty that he's taught the team apart and Ozzy hates Kingston for no reason because he's not actually the mole. Heath's kind of... Wait, Heath is the one who told Tiara Bling about Kingston's audition. So literally, Kingston has no... Like, he's done nothing wrong. And, <laughs> but Heath's only a little bit guilty feeling. Just a little bit. We have to keep our heads in the game. You know what? I'm here, but I can't say the same for Kingston, who's probably thinking about what his vanity license plate's gonna say. Shut up, Posse. No more drama. Thanks, no Rochelle. More talk. I know that sound. That means another TR Blink video. Thanks for turning notifications on though, guys. And if you want to turn notifications off for mucking Gary on the throwing, you can do that. Click the little bell. That's someone with a secret? That's bad. Am I exposing Piper and Amy now? Hi, dance fans. It's Tiara Bling here with new intel from I am. Insider. I remember that cardigan. He says that it seems as though Piper and Amy might be abandoning ship. They've got their sights set on oh! the <gasps> Apple New York City. Finn doesn't know! Finn doesn't know! Oh my god. Oh, I better not break up Pin. If... Oh, imagine I am the one that breaks up Pin. What? No. Get out of there while you still can, ladies, and start fresh somewhere new. Uh-oh. This is bad. Amy Piper, is this true? Uh, like, it's a long shot at best. So you're moving to New York? Were you ever gonna tell me? Go off, I, Finn. I, I'm not moving to New York. To be fair, I don't feel like Piper needed to tell Finn yet, because it was still just very much an idea. I know she was really, really thinking about it, but she's not considering it unless, like, that director guy comes to see Amy perform. I don't think it's that big a deal because she just didn't want to like get her hopes up and stuff, I suppose. It's not like she's booked her tickets and everything and already told James she's moving in and not told Finn. Tiara Bling is forcing me to spill team secrets and I have no way out. But Tiara Bling isn't forcing Heath. Like ultimately she's saying, yeah, you've got to, otherwise I'm going to expose you. If Heath exposes himself before Tiara Bling does, she's got nothing on him. Like, you don't have to spill more secrets. He didn't have to tell her about Amy and Piper. You could have just lied and said, oh, no one said anything. There's no more tea. How did he even know about Amy and Piper? Mm, yeah, I'm intrigued, actually. How, how did he know about anything? Maybe they'll say, but at the moment, I feel like that's a bit of a plot hole. Like, how did he find out? Okay, I know you guys are beefing because of his movie audition, but your friendship is much bigger than any part in a movie. This attitude is hurting the team. Heath's manipulating a bit now. If you guys want to be the ones that blow it for the team. Heath Cliff, you have just told Tiara Bling secrets that are tearing your team apart. This wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for you. The only thing that would have happened is Rochelle going on that live stream and Moxie saying that they need to prove it. So they'd still be doing Step Inside, they'd still be doing the show, but there wouldn't be any bad reputation. It would just be Tiara Bling, Maria, Moxie that they have to prove wrong. But... This is... P -p 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 Let me carry on. Angry. Play. <laughs> if you want to be there for the team, 
you'll stay and talk it out. I appreciate you not being distracted by everything going on. What? Sorry, Michelle, I, I have to take this. I feel like they shouldn't have revealed that he's the mole. You could have literally ended the episode before that hoodie scene in the last one and kept everything else the same because all Heath did just was just tell Ozzy and Kingston to calm it down, right? And obviously cut out the bits about him saying about being the mole. Because Shad's taking these phone calls and we know from the off season that Tiara Bling and Shad met and that she put her number into Shad's phone or at least contact details. From this, we then think, OMG, Shad is the mole and he's getting all these secrets and exposing them to Tiara Bling because he wants to make something of himself, knows Tiara Bling, knows that she got a following because nothing about Rochelle has been exposed yet, right? So that would make sense for it to be Shad because he still cares about Rochelle, but it's, it doesn't really care about the others. I feel like they should have kept it a secret longer. Mmm... I've been going through a retrospective of Kingston and Ozzy's relationship. I mean, what better way to get them back together than to remind them of everything they've been through? See, this would all work if Heath hadn't been revealed yet. Because I know, like, obviously some people would probably suspect him because he's being extra nice. But you'd just be like, oh, Heath's trying to get his friends back together. He's trying to fix the team. That's really good. Oh, Shad's getting phone calls from someone and we know he knows Ciara Bling. Oh, I think it's Shad who's the mole. Yeah, should have been kept a secret longer. I'm gonna put money on it. Remember that bad report card you hid from all of us? <gasps> oh, season five throwback. You just can't handle not being in everybody's business. True. You're the mole. <gasps> you were too chicken to tell everyone about your little audition, so you leak it to Tiara Bling, and she does all the dirty work for you. Well, how do I know you're not the mole? How do I know you're not leading this whole investigation just to throw us off the track? See, hearing those two theories would have been great as well for people trying to speculate who it's the mole with only three episodes left of the mid-series to go, of the first half of the series to go. Like, then people would be like, OMG, Kingston is the mole, that was a really good point, Ozzy. OMG, Ozzy is the mole, that was a really good point, Kingston. I should have told you about James' offer right away. Okay, not telling you was a mistake, but why would I bother you with something that was never going to happen? I was... I shouldn't have had to hear about it through Tiara Bling. That's true, but then Finn's problem is with the mole and Tiara Bling, not Piper. Pipes, you obviously want to go to New York, and you don't want to admit it because leaving scares you. You don't want to tell me because telling me makes it feel real. No, no, that's not true. This is a mature conversation. I've never seen Finn so mature. Piper probably was scared, because that's what I said about Amy too. She was probably scared about leaving. That's why she was putting it off and not wanting to go. Piper's probably scared too. She's an anxious little bean, you know? But I'm still on Piper's side that she didn't have to tell Finn. Obviously, it would have been nice of, of them to discuss it, but they could still discuss it when Amy gets the go-ahead to go to Manhattan. She doesn't have to go with her straight away. I can't, I can't stop thinking about it. Well, I'm glad you're finally being honest. Oh, and when you make your decision, make sure I find out before Tiara Blaine does. It's not Piper's fault, it's the mole's fault. I like seeing a more mature side to Finn. I like seeing angry Finn, it's nice. Sad Finn, rather. But it's not, it's not this deep. I feel like he's overreacting a tad. Uh -huh. I caught you red-handed. Found this comment under Tiara Bling's post from DancerBoy9292. OMD, Tiara Bling has the receipts. That's totally something you'd say because you're always talking about receipts. That can't be me. If that were me, receipts would be spelt wrong. I don't understand that. I feel like Ozzy said something about receipts in series seven when they were trying to find out who turned the lights off, which makes sense. I like a little reference, but I feel like it would have made more sense if Kingston had read that out and then Ozzy had been like, no, my username is dancerboy9494. And she's like a slight, thing because why would Kingston think that's Ozzy like surely he'd know what his social media handle is if they're best friends there's so many comments on the Tiara Bling video we've seen them on the screen why would he think that one is Ozzy's just because he talks about receipts he's such a third wheel in this scenario he's just been stood there like he could have at least found a beanbag or sat on that um ice cream sandwich chair you know the one that that Piper and Amy were on last episode or something he was just stood while they were talking to each other. <laughs> Aw, he. It's like when you're walking down a path or a sidewalk 
in a group of three and there's always two that are in front and the one person just trails behind because there's no room on the path to walk alongside each other. That's Heath. Heath's at the back. <gasps> you should really go return that phone call. Oh, Rochelle. Oh, keep him waiting. Yeah, what a tease. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. <gasps> Look at this board. Hang on, I'm pausing it on the board. There's me, Piper, Amy, Nick, Ozzy, with a big X over him. Definitely not Ozzy. I wish I could read these post-it notes. Then this one. He is always taking phone calls. Very strange behaviour. Well, he's just working. Um, we've got Heath. That looks like Heath, you know. The Rochelle one. And then Shad has a secret. How do they know Shad has a secret? Have they seen him taking the phone calls and stuff? Maybe they have, but I thought he'd only just started taking phone calls. Um, Kingston, he takes, takes call for movie audition. I love that board. He said, he said he's panicking. He says that it seems as though <laughs> Guys, this is me. It's either you or Finn, buddy, or Shad. See, this is why it would have been good if they didn't reveal who the mole was. And then imagine we just saw that look from Heath, but a bit more subtle. So like it wasn't so obvious. And he's just like, oh, damn. And then they carry on having a conversation between them. Like, then we'd know without knowing. We'd be like, oh, it's Heathcliff, everyone. Scrolling back through Tiara's photos, I can't believe what just popped up. This changes everything. That's Tiara Bloom. I've never taken a picture with Heath. I did take a video with Heath in the background at the very end of the off season I was filming and he was in the background with Daisy and Dylan. I don't know if they were in the background though. But I took a picture with Shad. Tiara Bling took a picture with Shad. So if that's the picture they've just found, they shouldn't have told us Heath was the mole. They could have kept it a secret and we'd all just presume, yeah, it's Shad. I think that's a huge mistake, if I'm honest. Like, I don't think it should have been revealed. Should have kept it a secret longer. This could have been the whole plot of the first half of the series. They could have kept it going longer. I, I do want to go to New York, but if I'm brave enough to take that chance, it will change everything. Oh, Piper. Oh, we've got to change everything. <laughs> that was close. Oh, but at least Tiara Bling wasn't the one to break up Pin. Like, if they break up, it's their own fault. It's not me. Because I don't want to take that. I'd be so sorry. Oh no. See, and also, if we didn't know that Heath was the mole, he could have just walked in then, looked at it, had a sense of panic on his face, but then kind of like shrugged it off. Well, no, I guess he wouldn't need to shrug it off because he's by himself. Just look panicked, maybe drop the food and run. And we'd be like, He's overreacting a bit, like it's not that deep. Like they're only gonna tell Rochelle it's Shad. And then we'd be like, oh, that's why the boy panicked. Check it out. <sighs> yes, it's the picture. I just feel so betrayed. Imagine the scenes if we didn't know it was Heath. Sorry, I keep going on about it, but like we'd be so set on Shad now because we'd be like, oh, it's been revealed finally. And it all makes sense because that's why Tiara Bing took the picture. Well, no, that's why the relevance of the picture comes in. They know each other, they're contacted. All the phone calls Shad's been getting and not taking around Rochelle. There's been no leaks about Rochelle's information because Shad likes Rochelle, but there's been all the other information and stuff and Shad's been lurking around and we haven't really seen much of him. It's been in the shadows. Oh, would have been so good. Well, there we go. That's episode 10. I just wish they didn't reveal it was Heath. Because it doesn't even... Like, they didn't even reveal... Heath... Oh, Heath didn't even tell people in this episode that it was him. Like, they're still speculating. So they could have just kept it going for another episode longer. The cinema scene was a bit short. Like, I don't really think it was needed. It could have just been... I don't know. Just could have been dragged out a bit longer, I guess. Yeah, just my overalling point is I don't think Heath should have been revealed to be the mole not yet but yeah if you let let me know what you think down below in the comments um don't leave any spoilers for anything past episode 10 please otherwise you'll get hashtag danceled and you'll get blocked like this video if you enjoyed it and you'd like to see more i'm uploading every two to three days usually tuesday thursday and sunday 
I'm buzzing for when they find out it's Heath. I think it's going to kick off because it's been so mature, this series, compared to like Seven. Like the, the issues that are trivial get resolved like that, like so quickly. This isn't a trivial issue. Their secrets have been exposed. Their relationships have been at like, Kingston and Lily have broken up and stuff and <laughs> it's all going mad. I, I've always said I really want a, a fight on the next set. Can you imagine Heath and Ozzy fighting? Like Ozzy finds out it's been Heath all along and he's been helping him with the investigation, lunges at him. Ugh! But I don't know if CBBC would allow that. I think, I think we've had fights before on CBBC. I don't know. What's happened to my hair? Oh my God. I'll see you all later. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good sleep um, or good morning, depending on when you're watching this. I'll see you later. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>